we look at Stonehenge right here and I've read these books on the Stonehenge and the history of it remember Stonehenge was a a farmer owned it up until the early mid 1900s okay it was just farmland with a bunch of stones on it it wasn't this grand archaeological place until it was turned into a tourist attraction by the British and they're making a few bucks on it but the thing about the Stonehenge that is like these crop circles first thing is it only makes sense from the air as you can see right here now what I mean by that is this is a cell phone okay this was designed and built by man alright when you see a picture of this it looks just like this or like this or like this or that's how it's described if you want to buy it but what if the cell phone 99 percent of the pictures of the cell phone were like this camera right here and this is all you saw of the camera just pointed straight down the point about that is that why would man make an edifice like the Stonehenge that only makes sense from the air 1500 feet up or 2000 feet up when he didn't have the power of flight well it, it shows the position of the moon and the sun yes it does but why would you build a hundred ton edifice when you could make it out of pieces of bark that's why I'm saying man did not build this and you can see the Stonehenge right here doesn't make any sense from the ground it only makes sense from the air all the crop circles are around the Stonehenge to the north of it to the south but 99.9% .9 of the pictures of the Stonehenge are always up here a thousand feet up two thousand feet up why well that's that's a pattern that shows me that we didn't build it now none of these books on the Stonehenge say who built it they one of them refers to a Paleolithic survey team okay now to me that's like a Paleolithic F1 racing European team it just doesn't exist the next thing is Stonehenge is a not just a, a bunch of rocks put together it is a geometrical figure it must have used some kind of measurement remember they didn't have the metric system they didn't have the English system but it does have some system now we get back to the point where in this book here the picture of the makers of these circles like I said they can only see in light and dark I got to thinking about that. Okay? And no one has proved who has made the Stonehenge. They said, well, the early Britons did it or somebody did it. But you have to remember, to make this Stonehenge right here, you would have to have a society that was had a lot of free time, was organized, and had a reason to build this. There is none of that around wh where these rocks are. There is no um, there is no tribe or city or anything. And if it was designed by man, how come it's not inscribed by man in any way? It's just not. But the stones were brought from, as I say, 200 miles away, and placed right here. The reason for that is that this place on earth is an ingress and an egress point or where these visitors come in and where they leave from their line of sight wherever they come from and then we go into how they travel so I'll get to that so what does the Stonehenge do what the Stonehenge does is it shows where the earth is compared to the Sun in its orbit 365 days a year 
what happens is that these visitors jump from one place to another with their ships in the aether field as Tesla described. The aether field has no time in it. You can jump from point A, point A to point B in no time. There's no time in it. Or you can jump from Earth to Alpha Centauri 200 million light years in no time. That's one of the constants of it. The thing is you have to know where point A and point B is. Now if you have a galaxy full of stars right here, like we have here, and you had to go from one planet to another, how would you get there? Well, you, you'd you have to find a way. And the way they do it is they jump from one planet to Earth to wherever. And they've been doing this for hundreds of years in Britain. Where they go, I don't know. But as the pattern shows, they very rarely leave any messages for us or anything human-like, except for these crop circles, which shows that when they come here, they're not here to see us. They only use it as a jumping spot. And I imagine in other worlds, they have other Stonehenges. Next thing is, how does a Stonehenge work? 